I went to uh, Coney Island recently, and I rode this roller coaster called the Cyclone. The scariest experience of my life. <laughs> and I grew up in Pakistan. <laughs> it's Sunday morning on CBS, and here again is Jane Pauley. That's Kumail Nanjiani on The Late Show with Dave Letterman a few years back. Come next month, he and his wife, Emily Gordon, may be in the Oscar spotlight, provided one of the winning envelopes holds the name of their movie, The Big Sick. Leslie Stahl of 60 Minutes has a story of art imitating life. Okay, welcome to our home. It's, we should uh, warn. We should warn you. It's, we're getting a little bit of work done. It's a little messy, but come on in. Okay, I'm coming in. Oh, my God, look yeah. at this. Kumail Nanjiani and his wife, Emily Gordon, have had their lives turned upside down. All new furniture, um, new kitchen stuff, yeah. Are you learning something? Yes, we're getting all new furniture. <laughs> Just repeating new what I'm saying. Stuff. The upheaval forced them into an Airbnb in Los Angeles, where, watching television... Oh, you weren't yeah. even in your own house? No. no! They first no. learned that they had won an Oscar nomination yeah. for writing The Big Sick... Well, original screenplay. ...about their love affair. The Big Sick, Emily V. Gordon and Kumail Nanjiani. And he said our names and we screamed. <laughs> and cried, and we were like, oh my God, you're nominated for an Oscar. So are you. <laughs> I have to tell you something, babe. I've been dating this girl. She's white. A white girl? Hey, you can't look like you and yell white girl. It's okay. We hate terrorists. They'd never written a movie before, but decided to try and tell the basically true story together. Are you judging Pakistan's next top model? You know how we have arranged marriage in my culture? Oh my God, I'm so stupid. It's sort of your typical boy meets girl, boy keeps girl secret from family because he's supposed oh, to get arranged married. There's an infection. We put her in a medically induced coma. And then she gets really sick and has to be put into a coma. Story, you know, that one. Have you guys heard of this drug cocktail called Cheese? Uh, the movie begins as their cheese real cheese romance began. Kumail was doing stand-up in a Chicago here. comedy club and Emily, played by Zoe Kazan, heckled him. Your meeting, as they say, you met cute, uh, is in the movie. Yes. Kumail made a joke on stage and asked, is Pakistan in the house? Is Pakistan in the house? <laughs> Woo! I just woohooed as if I was from Pakistan. Really? You're not from Pakistan. I would have noticed you. Which is a good line. At the time, Emily was working as a therapist. Kumail, a Pakistani immigrant stand-up comedian. One thing that happened in the movie that we changed. This is your name in Urdu. The Kumail in the movie writes Emily's name in Urdu and kind of presents it to her, and Emily in the movie is like... Does this move work? I've had some minor success with it. This move, I bet you use this on all the girls, whereas Emily in reality fell for that so hard. <laughs> and I did not realize until months later that he had done that with several other girls. <laughs> I wasn't like a player or anything, but I had done that before. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Kumail was accepted to Grinnell College in Iowa. So in 1997, he moved cold turkey from loud, overcrowded, teeming Karachi to, well, the middle of nowhere. Total culture shock, right? Yeah. Raised in a devout Muslim family, he had yet to shake a girl's hand. So this girl sticks her hand out to say hi. Yeah, and, and I'm what like, do do? oh my God, I'm going like, to do this. And we're in love now. Yeah, right? <laughs> okay, so let's set a date. <laughs> yeah. So do you remember the very first time you got up in front of an audience? So it was my senior year of college, and I was so terrified. What and was, was your so subject, funny. do you remember? I remember one of the jokes I did. It was about how I always wanted to have a unit of measurement named after myself. Because that was like all the cool scientists had him, you know. Kelvin. Like Jules, yeah. Kelvin, you know, like <laughs> turned the torpedoes up to five Nanjianis. Like, five Nanjianis, that's way too much power. Most people can't handle one Nanjiani. And then I would go, hey. You would go, hey? I would go, hey. I, I went, hey. Oh my God. Now hey. I know why you like her. She laughs at all your she jokes. She laughs at all my stuff. Please welcome Kumail Nanjiani, ladies and gentlemen. Kumail went from Iowa to Letterman. My name is Kumail. 
but Microsoft spell check thinks it should be camel. <laughs> and on to a starring role in HBO's Silicon Valley. Do you think I have too much product in my hair? Nope, I think you should use more. Are you saying that because you think I look ridiculous and you want me to look more ridiculous? Which answer will get more of that stuff in your hair? Last fall, he hosted Saturday Night Live. My fantasy is when someone's racist to me, I want danger to befall them immediately. <laughs> and then I want to rescue them just to see the confused look on their face. <laughs> Kumail rarely told political jokes until President Trump and the Muslim ban. The point is that Muslims are complicated people like everybody else. Not all Muslims are good, not all Muslims are bad, just like all people. You should be on that show Saturday Night Live. It's, enough. it's a great idea. I should email them. I don't you know, know why I didn't talk about that. that was part I of what the movie to... was important, was that we wanted to show, like, just a Muslim family. Muslims having fun. Yeah. Kumi, go and pray, na? so then we can eat ice cream. Go, what? go, yeah, please yeah, go. Just need because I know you yep, yeah. pray. Ice cream. <laughs> At the heart of the movie is the issue of Kumail's family not wanting him to marry outside the faith. What are you doing here? There is only one thing that we have ever asked for you, Kumi, that you be a good Muslim and you marry a Pakistani girl. That is it, one thing. How did you ever tell them about Emily? Well, it happens the way kind of it happened in the movie. In the movie, as in real life, Emily almost died. While her doctors tried to figure out what was wrong with her, they put her in a medically induced coma for eight days. Kumail rarely left her side. So how do you bring your parents in on this? One time they called and I just answered and I think I was just too tired and I think I just cried on the phone and I said, I'm really sorry to tell you this, but I've been dating this girl and she's in a coma right now. She's very, very sick. And my mom's initial reaction immediately was like, is she going to be okay? What's going on? And she that... knew that, that she was not a Pakistani yes, she Muslim. Did. Yeah, I said that she, her name was Emily. That was the first giveaway. Pretty good yeah. tell, yeah. And then it wasn't until, you know, I called them and I said, she's awake, she's going to be okay. And that's when my mom got upset at me. She was like, how could you do this to me? This is not OK either. You guys break it off, or you just have to get married to her. And that's what. She said that. Marry her, and then we can accept her. When we saw Emily, the warmth that she emitted and the uh, lovable personality that she had, she ab absolutely captivated us. We spoke via FaceTime to Kumail's dad, Dr. Yeah. Ijaz Najiani, a psychiatrist in New Jersey. So tell us um, what happened when you saw the movie. And there was your life in a way. The movie, we left the movie. In fact, on two, three occasions, I was in tears and my wife was just nudging me and making fun of me. <laughs> Here's Emily. Emily. That was very I'm sweet. Emily. <laughs> I love you guys too. I'm not in this part, so I'm going to go now. <laughs> when they put Emily in the coma, literally the moment that she went under, I remember looking at her and saying, if she comes out of this, we're going to get married. And I know it sounds made up and it sounds also dramatic. A little, a little <laughs> it's a little creepy. It's a little creepy. I would have asked you. Yeah, I wasn't going to do it while you were up Although there. you didn't, so that's interesting. They got married three months after Emily left the hospital. It's a good thing, right? Yeah. It the is. two of you. Oh, yeah. We're good. I'm, I'm glad we found each other. It's such a strange experience to go through something like this, where you make a movie about yourself and have it do well. Your life changes. So it's good that we have each other to go through. Yeah. We yeah. take turns kind of freaking out. Freaking out. <laughs> we try not to freak out at the same time. It can be very overwhelming. So we try and coordinate, like, yeah, you can take Tuesday. But right now, I'm going to spin out. <laughs>